fate of Megyn Kelly's NBC show, Megyn Kelly Today, is in jeopardy following comments she made on air about using blackface for Halloween costumes. The former Fox News host did not appear on her show Thursday morning. Instead, NBC aired a pre-recorded episode. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan has the latest. Two days after she appeared to defend the use of blackface, today several reports suggest that Megyn Kelly may soon be leaving NBC. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Megyn Kelly. Kelly did not appear on her show this morning. It was a rerun. The staff of her show was told on Thursday morning that Megyn Kelly today, the 9 a.m. show, would not be returning with Megyn Kelly. It was what she said Tuesday that got her in trouble. What is racist? Because, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on black yes, face yes. for Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, back, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. The next day, she apologized. And I want to begin with two words. I'm sorry. I learned that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, it is not okay. But her colleagues at the Today Show had already taken a stance earlier that morning. The, the, the fact is, uh, while well, she apologized to the staff, she owes a bigger apology to folks of color around the country. This is not the first time Kelly made headlines on race-related topics. As host of The Kelly File at Fox News, she told viewers in 2013 that Santa Claus and Jesus were white men. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, Jesus was a white man, too. By 2017, she announced she was leaving Fox to join NBC, where she reportedly signed a three-year deal worth $69 million. She was given the 9 a.m. hour of the network's Today Show, replacing Al Roker and Tamron Hall. In Kelly's first season, she averaged nearly 2.4 million viewers, 375,000 fewer than the Today Show 9 a.m. hour had before she arrived. I spoke to a source close to Megyn Kelly and asked about reports that Kelly is asking for a $50 million settlement from NBC and that her show was canceled. That source told me, quote, it sounds untrue. Tanya, NBC executives are scheduled to talk with Megyn Kelly's attorney tomorrow. Jerika Duncan, thank you. Joining me now to discuss Kelly's comments and her future at the network is David Falkenflick, media correspondent for NPR. David, so great to have you here. Tell us, bring us up to speed. What is Megyn Kelly's fate at this moment? Right now, what we know, uh, according to source I've spoken to, uh, is that the show at 9 a.m. is part of the Today Show. Her program is toast. It's gone. It is gone. I've also been told uh, exit talks are going on right now. That is, they're not concluded. It's not concrete. Something surprising could happen, but their negotiations are going on right now and it's it appears headed for her to exit the network ultimately uh, one source uh, with knowledge of it says uh, it's clear that she won't be returning to the network very interesting and her you know powerful agency CAA she let them go I understand she's hired a powerful Los Angeles attorney so it's understood that these talks could become somewhat contentious? I mean, the question is, is this litigious or are these negotiations? Right. You know, law firms and, and uh, talent agencies are used to try to figure out the best terms possible. I can't imagine NBC would want something to spill out into court. I also, you know, you've got to wonder what this precise language is of her contract. Can they drop her uh, for any reason? Are there a question of, does she violate a morals clause? Would this constitute that? These right. remarks about blackface, which are clearly tap into a very rich and painful vein of uh, American in history in terms of white characterizations and depictions of blacks. I mean, this would appear to be all about those comments which she made, which were very, very upsetting, obviously. But there's more to the story here, correct? I mean, this is sort of a slow buildup. There are some people that say that NBC was looking for an excuse to get rid of her. Well, in the weeks prior to this incident, uh, uh, in the last couple of days, uh, she was talking to NBC already about what other role she could perform at the network. You know, I've uh, reported that she's making an excess of $16 million a year. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money for uh, any network, even NBC. <laughs> even NBC. The Wall Street <laughs> Journal reported she was making $23 million a year. That's a lot of money for somebody who's uh, earned only tepid ratings at 9 o'clock. And remember, the Today Show is in some ways the economic engine that drives the NBC News division. Sure. So that's an important hour to fill. She was looking to see if there was another role to play. This inspired, from what I'm told, extremely real outrage on behalf uh, of uh, 
her colleagues at NBC News, particularly African Americans. Oh, and there is, you know, a tenderness there at that news division. Thoughts about what happened to Ann Curry at the Day Show. Thoughts about what happened to uh, former African American colleagues who had been leading the 9 a.m. Today Show and were displaced for her to come in uh, with all this fanfare. I mean, let's not grieve for Comcast paying this money. I mean, that's a company with a market cap of about 160 plus billion dollars. Sure. They can afford it, but it is a testament to the question of whether she's filling the role, whether she could pivot from an extremely hard-edged uh, primetime host at Fox News, you know, the, in some ways the hardest-edged uh, TV news outlet we have, to a softer, more inclusive, more embracing role as the uh, host of the 9 o'clock hour. Look, I think no one would argue that she isn't a very talented news broadcaster, but I think a lot of people said she struggled with that morning news, you know, format, that it was not a natural fit for her. And as you said, the ratings were not great. She then embraced the Me Too movement, which some say rankled her superiors at NBC, especially when she focused on particular men within NBC who were right. targets of the Me Too movement. Right. Um, there are some that suggest she may use that as a leverage in her exit negotiations. Um, so there were, there's a lot of background here. Well, she had uh, raised tough questions about her former colleague, Matt Lauer, and among other things, her, her colleague, the very esteemed former news anchor, Tom Brokaw, when allegations were raised about his conduct towards colleagues a couple decades ago, she raised tough questions about that. He has stayed at the network, unlike Lauer, right. and that clearly uh, cooled some of her relationship with the executives. And she also has raised, even of late, questions about how NBC treated Ronan Farrow as he was seeking, without success, at NBC to report on the allegations uh, against Harvey Weinstein that ultimately won Ronan Farrow a Pulitzer when he published them with The New Yorker. Exactly. You know, of course, her comments about blackface were totally unacceptable, but some have to wonder what NBC thought they were getting when they hired Megyn Kelly from Fox, that she wasn't an unknown entity. She had made some previously controversial remarks, especially surrounding race. Well, so this is in some ways a question of be careful what you wish for. Right. You know, An Andy Lack, the chairman of NBC News, clearly wanted uh, Kelly both because she was a star and because she had gotten a lot of heat for her uh, standoff with uh, then-candidate Donald Trump during the uh, presidential campaign, uh, but also uh, to in some ways get the sheen of, listen, we are going to be somebody, uh, a, a, an institution that is uh, approachable for conservatives. He wanted in some ways to counterbalance MSNBC's liberalness. Well, the way you do that, you bring somebody from the most conservative network in the nation. But she had a history at times of making comments about race, insisting, for example, just one example, that Santa Claus and Jesus Christ were white. And there is no other ways to look at it. And saying kids out there should know that as though black children had to go to sleep at night knowing that Santa Claus wasn't black. Right. You know, she late, initially said she was joking, later apologized. Nonetheless, a series of elements like that suggested to African-American viewers and some of her colleagues they were wary of her. And that's part of the baggage she brought along with her. And what have you heard from people inside NBC? Was she well-liked? What, what, what are her colleagues telling you? I'd say she got a fairly mixed reaction mm -hmm. within uh, NBC, not a warm embrace, in part, as I said, because she uh, displaced some of her colleagues in that 9 a.m. hour, right. uh, and in part because they were distrustful of having somebody who had been one of the leading faces of Fox News uh, and had been, at times, a pretty contentious figure. And had gotten right. involved in political fights, even though she had shown flashes of independence from the Fox Party line. Right. So, do you think there's no doubt that she will get some kind of golden parachute out of this? I think Megyn Kelly will be well set for the rest of her life right. financially. On the other hand, she finds herself, uh, people close to her say she was very unfairly used in all this, that she has been depicted talking about blackface as though it was absent from the conversation about Halloween. Among the things she did, and this is ironic, she defended a white reality uh, show TV star uh, uh, for her dressing up uh, as a I think Diana Ross mm -hmm. uh, in costume coming under a lot of criticism defended her for that. That reality show star is still employed, and by the way, employed by a sister channel right. to NBC. Now, I just have to ask you, any word about possible replacements? Because her show might not be aired on Monday. I don't think that there's any chance that she's returning to the t uh, Today Show. She she is on tape uh, today. will be on tape tomorrow. Right. She'll be on tape uh, Thursday and Friday of this week. Uh, they have not yet talked about it. You know, uh, there have been... Uh, Talks within NBC of some time of trying to figure out a replacement. You'd oh, see yeah. a number of folks uh, being turned yeah. to within NBC or from without. Uh, Kelly was not a wildly popular figure, and this offers a chance for them to figure out what to do next. David Fulton, thank you so much for coming to see us today. You bet.